Hey guys, Richard Scanlon with Remount Horsemanship. I was cleaning my uh, tack room the other day and I noticed that one of my bozal hangers needed to be replaced. So I, I make my own bozal hangers out of uh, saddle strings. Um, you can buy your own, you can spend as much money as you want on them and get them as fancy as you want. But I make my own bozal hangers. I, uh, I have them on my bosolitos, I have them on my uh, cavisons. Use them for a long time. And it's just real simple. Um, the way you tie it is you just tie it, well, you tie it just like a rope halter, is how you tie it. And it stays on nice and snug for, on the horse. Looks pretty neat. Uh, it's absolutely nothing fancy. It's just a cheap way to do it. And I make them from saddle strings, like I said, that you can pick up at any tap store or online somewhere. Um, I do get them half inch wide, and I believe they're about six foot long. So I'm going to move the camera and then I'll show you guys how I take the saddle string, sharp knife, and make yourself a bozal hanger. If you're going to use your pocket knife, make sure you've got a really good edge on it. Another thing that you can use and it works really well is um, an X-Acto knife or a utility knife. Just something that's really sharp. Remember you get cut with dull knives, not with sharp knives. So make sure you've got a real good edge on it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, I'm going to take the saddle string and I'll cut a little chunk off the edge of it and I'm going to make it nice and nice and sharp, kind of put a point on the edge of my leather. And then this is the, this is the bozal I usually start, start horses in, so it's not the prettiest thing. But I want maybe, maybe a six inch tail. And all we're going to do is we're going to put a series of slots into our leather and then we're going to feed the leather through the slots, okay? So I say, okay, I want my tail to be about six inches long. This is my tail. So right about here, I'll just put a little mark. Okay? Set it down on my board, take the tip of my knife, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all the way through the leather about an inch. Make sure it's all the way through. And then I'm going to go up, maybe half an inch, and I'm going to slice another inch. And then I'll go another half inch and I'll put another slice. So I don't know if you can see it, but I have three slits all the way through my leather, going lengthwise on this ladder go and make sure it's all the way through. Okay. So what that's going to give me is this. So I can wrap it around my bozal and what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed it in there. That's This is what that point's for. So I feed that leather tail through the first notch. And then I feed it down through the other slit. And just kind of work it. Just hang with it and work it. The smaller your slits are, the tighter it's going to be. So now I'll just, I have one more slit left somewhere. There it is, let it go all the way through. So don't cut yourself. We just make that slit all the way through. And then I'll feed the tail end back through it. Okay? So now, now I'm attached. To my was all. And, and when you're done, you can just kind of trim this end up. And then what I do is I go up, oh, maybe about a foot, maybe a little bit more than a foot. And I'll cut it, and I'll cut it at an angle so that I'll have another tip or another point on my leather, okay? Like that. 
And what this is going to do is we're going to do the same, same exact thing that we did down here, but we're going to do it up here. So this is where your knot's going to be tied. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and trim this thing up so it's not in my way. So I want it to be about a foot long, and I want to leave enough of a hole so I can tie my other strap to that we tied to this side. So that looks about right. So I'll put a slit here, about an inch long slit all the way through, and then another half inch, and then another slit. All the way through your leather. Like I said, it's nothing fancy, but it works, and I've been doing it for years. Same thing, take the, the point you just made, and you'll feed it through, like that. And then I'll feed it back down through this one. So that you have that. See there? So now you're attached to your bow's all and you've got a loop up here to tie it onto. So then, same thing as before. I want the slick side out, the rough side in. Let's see, I put uh, three slits in this side, so I'll put three slits in this side. I want to start my slits right here. So I'll do about an inch long slit here. And I'll skip half an inch, put another inch long slit all the way through the leather. And then I'll do another half inch no slit, and then an inch long slit. Okay? Rough side in, smooth side out. That's how I like it. I, I don't care how you do it. You can do it any way you want. This slit's a little small, so I'll just make it a tiny bit bigger. And be careful, this new leather, it, uh, it cuts pretty easy, so you can, uh, you can slice through it pretty quick. So I run it through there, like that, cinch it up tight, cinch it up tight to the Right there under the button of the bozal. Go in. And then go up. Okay. And what I'm doing is once I go through the slit, then I'll turn that leather sideways. Like that. So I go through the slit and then I turn that leather sideways. And you can put these slits closer together. Um, it'll make your, it'll make it look a little bit neater, I guess. But I leave it far enough away that I can just get it done quick. Then you take the end and just kind of cut it round. Don't cut your finger. So that's how you do it. That's your bow's all hanger. What you do is you just take your, the end of it and you run it down, around, and back through the hole. And then you can just slide it on your horse's head and then undo your, or loosen your knot and adjust it as necessary. But that's it. Saddle string, bow's all hanger, nothing fancy, but it certainly gets the job done. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.